First, let's start by creating proxies. I have files from a Sony, a 7.4 camera shot in S-Log3 with 10-bit color. I drag the folder into the Blackmagic proxy generator and create proxies in the AJ 265 10-bit format. This allows me to view frames without banding and pixelation in proxy mode. If I were to create proxies in 8-bit, the second option, I would encounter defects in my frames. The same applies to the first option, the ProRes format. I click the Start button and wait for the proxies to be generated. They are generated in a newly created folder alongside the source files. After loading the folder into the created project, we'll make sure that the original files are loaded. You can check this by examining the aspect ratio. Currently, it displays 4K, which is correct. Now, please note that when proxies are connected to the original files, DaVinci displays a corresponding icon. When only the original files are enabled, the icon changes. This way, you always know whether you have the original frames or proxies enabled. Let's switch back to proxies and load the video onto the timeline. As you can see in the lower left corner of the timeline, the same icon as in the media pool panel is displayed. This means that even on the timeline, we can keep track of which files are currently enabled proxies or originals. Original files on the timeline are not displayed with an icon, but when we enable proxies, an icon with proxies is shown. Now, let's consider a situation where we only have proxies and need to connect the original files. In this case, in the media pool, we see that proxies are loaded, but they are displayed with an icon as if they were original files. However, by examining the full HD aspect ratio, we realize that these are proxies. To link the original files, we need to select all the available files, right click, and then choose the link full resolution media option from the drop down menu. Select the folder with the original files on your PC or Mac. The original files are now connected. That's all. Thank you for watching the video.